Hello, so let's talk about the Yuma's dungeon because after some updates on the May 9th, right now the boss gimmick is much easier to see and much easier to do. I'm gonna show you the full run, I'm gonna speed up the things on the... that doesn't matter that much, just clearing everything, going fast. So the first main thing in, in these Yuma's dungeons are the golden... Veins basically these veins give you buffs you can get up to four buffs So one of those are resistances armor, armor increase damage decrease attack speed increase and the most important one is the jewel drop rate Of course you can't target farm those so it only depends on the luck I'm not looting anything in here because after you kill the boss and if you have enough inventory space everything is gonna be looted automatically but be careful Look at your inventory space, clear your inventory if you need to, otherwise you're gonna lo uh, lose some loot. This is my third blessing. Sometimes you can run the whole Yuna's dungeon and only find those blessings at the end of your runs, but it's only on, depends on the luck. Most of the times you kinda, you're gonna find those kinda early. And this is another gimmick. This vein is called Endless Giant Vein. Basically what happens in this one that NPCs spawn in waves and you have to kill them all. I mean I had a lot of damage so I killed it fast enough but you actually only have a minute to clear that one. So if you're lacking damage you might not be able to clear. But otherwise just remember that Endless Wayne is a tough nut to, to crack especially on higher level Yuno's dungeons. And especially if you get unlucky and you get that uh, endless vein at the end of your run when you already have stacked a lot of debuffs, be careful on that one. This is another blessing, the last one. So four blessings done. When you start doing higher level Yuno's engines, be careful not to stack your hit rate dampening to 100%. Keep looking at the affixes that you get because you're gonna start doing zero hits. You can't do much about the curses themselves. You're gonna, cause those gonna reduce your resistances almost to zero and same with the critical damage. So just kill as fast as you can. So this is the Yuno's engine boss. I'm removing some of my damage because I wanted to test what's going on with the mechanic. So I removed almost everything. Went straight into the boss area. Tried to approach it as slow as I could. So I wouldn't skip some of the mechanics. But after this update, right now you're gonna be able to see what the hell is going on on that uh, gimmick. So it spawns some cursed enemies, I killed that. The longer you stay, the more cursed enemies it's gonna spawn. So you want to do intermission as fast as you can. This is the intermission. So this is where the gimmick begins. The boss is gonna face to the bottom. So that means you need to kill that ad. It's gonna spawn a cursed enemy. What I do with the cursed enemy, I always go onto the ad with it and then only kill it basically together. You kill that, you can see there is a light beam now going on from that. So this is the change basically that happened on this update. Now you can see which ad you need to kill really clearly. So you kill that ad and you finish the boss. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. GDs and see you guys in the next one.